What if the most powerful fighter jet engine wasn't just about speed, but also about saving the planet? The Rolls-Royce EJ200, powering the Gripen, isn't just a marvel of engineering, it's a game-changer for sustainable air combat. Get ready to discover how this engine is redefining efficiency and securing our skies for generations to come. Forget everything you thought you knew about fighter jet engines. Tomorrow's airspace demands power that's both fierce and eco-friendly, and the Rolls-Royce EJ200 delivers. This isn't just an engine, it's a blueprint for a sustainable future in military aviation, enabling the Gripen to achieve remarkable efficiency with minimal environmental footprint. At first glance, the Gripen E impresses with its sleek design and agility, everything we expect from a modern fighter. But that focus hides a common mistake, assuming the real strength of a jet is its airframe. In reality, Gripen's quiet advantage lives under the skin. That advantage is the Rolls-Royce EJ200 engine. Often dismissed as the Eurofighter's engine, the EJ200 is far more than a parts label. An engine defines how a fighter actually lives in combat. In grip and E, the EJ200 represents smart power, not brute force. Modern air warfare isn't about who burns the most fuel in afterburner. It's about availability, efficiency, and adaptability. Rolls-Royce designed the EJ200 for that reality. Lightweight construction, excellent fuel efficiency, and a modular design that allows fast repairs instead of long ground times. This challenges another popular myth. More thrust does not automatically mean a better fighter. More thrust often brings more maintenance, higher costs, and bigger thermal signatures. The EJ200 delivers precisely the power needed and nothing that future air forces can't sustain. That's why the EJ200 isn't just an engine, it's a strategic enabler, allowing even smaller air forces to stay combat ready without bleeding resources. In future air combat, the most valuable jet won't be the loudest or fastest, it will be the one that can launch again tomorrow, and that future begins with the engine. For decades, military aviation lived in a convenient bubble. Environmental cost was someone else's problem. That bubble is bursting fast. By 2025, sustainability is no longer a civilian-only concern. It's a strategic constraint. And this is where the EJ200 quietly steps ahead of its time. Let's dismantle an old assumption first, that green and combat-ready cannot coexist. The EJ200 challenges that binary thinking. While no fighter engine is truly eco-friendly, the EJ200 is designed to minimize damage rather than ignore it. Its lower fuel burn directly translates into a smaller carbon footprint per flight hour, a metric defense planners now track far more seriously than they admit in public. Fuel efficiency is the real breakthrough here. Less fuel burned doesn't just mean fewer emissions, it means longer loiter time, extended range, and fewer tanker dependencies. In practical terms, air forces fly more missions with fewer logistics convoys and lower lifetime costs. Sustainability, in this context, becomes a force multiplier, not a moral add-on. Then there's the engineering detail most people overlook, materials and thermal management. The EJ200 uses advanced alloys and cooling techniques that allow cleaner combustion and reduced exhaust temperatures. This doesn't just help emissions, it lowers noise and heat signatures, making operations near populated areas more politically and operationally viable. That matters more than it sounds. Modern air forces increasingly operate from dispersed bases and civilian-adjacent infrastructure. Engines that are quieter, cleaner, and less disruptive gain strategic flexibility, especially in peacetime deterrence missions where public tolerance matters. So when we talk about sustainable power, the EJ200 isn't redefining horsepower, it's redefining responsibility without sacrificing readiness. The future of air combat won't belong to the engine that burns the most fuel, it will belong to the one that delivers power the longest at the lowest cost, politically, economically, and environmentally. Military aviation loves to talk about speed in the air, but wars are often decided by speed on the ground. This is where the EJ200 reveals one of its most underappreciated strengths, modularity. Traditional fighter engines are maintenance nightmares, 
A single fault can ground an aircraft for days, sometimes weeks, while technicians tear deep into the engine. The EJ200 was designed to break that cycle, its plug-and-play modular arc major components to be removed and replaced quickly, often without pulling the entire engine from the aircraft. That is not a convenience feature, it's a combat advantage. Here's the assumption worth challenging, that peak performance matters more than availability. In real operations, an aircraft on the ground contributes nothing. EJ200's modular design dramatically reduces downtime, meaning Gripen operators can keep more jets mission-ready with smaller maintenance crews. Higher readiness rates don't just look good on paper, they translate directly into operational superiority, especially for air forces that can't afford deep maintenance infrastructure. This approach also future-proofs the engine. As materials improve, digital controls evolve, or efficiency technologies mature, individual modules can be upgraded without redesigning the entire power plant. Instead of becoming obsolete, the EJ200 evolves. That matters in an era where fighters are expected to serve for decades, not years. Air forces don't just buy an engine anymore, they buy a growth path. The EJ200 offers exactly that, adaptability without reinvention. In motion or on the ground, this modular philosophy turns engineering elegance into strategic resilience. The engine isn't just built to fly, it's built to stay relevant. Air combat is often reduced to a shallow scoreboard. Top speed, climb rate, turn performance. Useful metrics, but incomplete ones. The Gripen's real operational edge comes from how its engine multiplies everything else the aircraft is designed to do, and at the center of that multiplier sits the EJ200. Start with the obvious, but don't stop there. The EJ200's high thrust-to-weight ratio gives the Gripen exceptional acceleration and climb without burdening it with excess mass. That balance matters. It allows the aircraft to respond quickly, reposition fast, and disengage when needed, all without the fuel penalties usually associated with high-performance engines. Power here is not wasted, it's precisely applied. But focusing only on speed and maneuverability misses the deeper story. Modern fighters win by information dominance, not dogfighting theatrics. The EJ200's efficiency and electrical power generation support Gripen's advanced electrical warfare systems, sensors, and data fusion. In simple terms, the engine helps keep the aircraft's digital brain fully fed. A jet that sees first, jams first, and decides faster gains an advantage long before missiles are launched. This integrated performance has real-world consequences. The Gripen isn't just competitive on paper, it's competitive in procurement battles. Air forces shopping for fighters increasingly look beyond headline performance to ask harder questions. How many jets will be available on any given day? How much will they cost to operate over 30 years? How easily can they integrate with existing systems? The EJ200 helps answer those questions convincingly. Its blend of performance, efficiency, and maintainability strengthens Gripen's export appeal, especially for nations seeking credible air power without unsustainable budgets. In the global fighter market, the Gripen's edge isn't that it does everything best, it's that it does everything well enough, for long enough, at a cost that makes strategic sense. And that edge begins with the engine. Military aviation usually chases the next breakthrough. More stealth, more speed, more autonomy. But the EJ200 represents a quieter, more consequential idea. Progress through sustainability and adaptability. In many ways, it has become a blueprint, not just a product. The innovations baked into the EJ200 fuel efficiency, modular upgrades, smarter materials, and lower life cycle costs are now shaping how next-generation engines are conceived. Future power plants are no longer judged only by peak thrust, but by how long they can remain relevant, affordable, and politically acceptable. In that sense, the EJ200 didn't follow the trend, it helped set it. Relevance is the real currency of air superiority. Threat environments evolve faster than aircraft replacement cycles, and engines that can't adapt quietly become liabilities. The EJ200's design allows it to grow alongside new sensors, electronic warfare demands, and mission profiles, ensuring that platforms like Gripen remain credible well into the future. Not dominant through excess, but competitive through intelligence. 
There's also a broader legacy taking shape. As public scrutiny of defense spending and environmental impact intensifies, air forces are being pushed towards solutions that balance deterrence with responsibility. The EJ-200 stands as early proof that military aviation doesn't have to choose between effectiveness and efficiency. Its lasting impact won't be measured only in flight hours or thrust ratings. It will be measured in how it redefined what a modern combat engine is allowed to be. A cleaner, smarter, more sustainable future for military aviation won't arrive overnight. But when it does, the EJ-200 will be remembered as one of the engines that showed the way.